Doug Wardlow. St. Paul, the seat of our great state, part of America's great system of representative democracy. Here's where the people's endeavors arise and law and order should be upheld. But all is not well. Career politician Lori Swanson is avoiding the crisis of hardworking Minnesotans' tax dollars being stolen by the tens of millions. Tax dollars illegally sent by welfare fraudsters to overseas terrorists. It's Lori Swanson's duty to prosecute welfare fraud. Instead of enforcing the rule of law, Swanson, in office for 12 long years, is only interested in suing President Trump. Every day, Minnesotans are begging for an attorney general who will put the people first. Doug Wardlow is our Minnesota values candidate voters are seeking who will shake up St. Paul. As a United States Marine son, Doug grew up learning the value of faith, family, and hard work. Doug has spent his career fighting for free speech and religious liberty, and he fought against China's unfair trade practices and litigation on behalf of American steel producers. These aren't campaign pledges. For Doug Wardlow, this is his professional life. When Doug Wardlow is Attorney General, unjust attacks on Minnesota's job creators will end, and true prosperity begin. Doug Wardlow will roll back illegal regulations that are drowning our farmers in red tape and restore opportunities to our beautiful Iron Range. Doug Wardlow will work with President Trump to crack down on illegal immigration, to put an end to voter fraud in dangerous sanctuary cities, and restore law and order to Minnesota. Hello, Minnesota. I'm not Doug Wardlow, okay? <laughs> but I am here to place his name in nomination. I am honored and privileged to name Doug Wardlow, uh, for the, or to nominate Doug Wardlow for the office of the Attorney General of the state of Minnesota. It's no secret that the Democrats have held the Attorney General office for over 40 years. But thanks to this crowd and the work of many others across the state, Democrats are on notice. They know we're going to turn Minnesota red again. They know that Doug, Doug Wardlow can and will beat career politician Lori Swenson. I've known Doug for a long time. We were elected together back in 2010. He's a candidate worthy of your support. I believe that the office of the Attorney General is as important as that of Governor. Ladies and gentlemen, we, are, we have over 100,000 regulations in the state of Minnesota, most of them made up by agencies, okay? To a certain degree, you are governed by agency dictate. By, by electing Doug Wardlow, you'll have a person who stands up for the Constitution of the Minnesota, the U.S. Constitution, and against these agencies that are simply making things up out of thin air. Electing Doug Wardlow, it'll be a big step to turning Minnesota red again. Remember, when the, when the liberals and the Democrats are not in control as far as uh, elected officials, they use the courts and lawsuits to try to govern. Elect Doug Wardlow. God bless you. Good morning. I'm State Senator Cindy, P State Representative Cindy Pugh, and have known Doug as a strong defender of liberty since well before I was elected to the Minnesota Legislature. He's tough, honest, and an outsider who will shake up the status quo in St. Paul and put Minnesota first. Doug has a great campaign team, and with the support of all the delegates in the state working to get him elected, I am confident Doug can win. I second the motion to nominate Doug Wardlow for Attorney General. Onward to victory in November. Amen. Well, thank you. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Glenn. I am Doug Wardlow, and I humbly ask for your endorsement to be the next Attorney General of Minnesota. So, my friends, we have a problem in Minnesota. I can sum up that problem for you in one word, government. <laughs> Our state government is far too large. 
It does far too much. And then when it comes to the things that government really must do, like keeping our families safe and defending our freedoms, it falls short. Let me give you an example. You've probably heard about the, the situation we have with daycare fraud being committed by Somali daycare centers. Every year, tens of millions of dollars are being defrauded from the state. And every year, tens of millions of dollars are going overseas to Huwala's money courier services in the Horn of Africa, at least one of which is controlled by Al-Shabaab. Now, the Attorney General is the top law enforcement officer in the state. The Attorney General is the top legal officer in the state. And the Attorney General is the only statewide official with the duty and the authority to prosecute welfare fraud. So, what has Lori Swanson, our current Attorney General, been doing? Nothing. Nothing, that's right. She has been entirely silent. She has not brought a single civil case to recover funds on behalf of the state. She hasn't brought a single prosecution. She has been derelict in her duties, and that is unacceptable. You know, you, you, can, have, you can have all of the laws you want, but if you don't enforce them, they're not worth the paper they're printed on. So what has Lori Swanson been doing? Well, she's been suing the president. She has sued the president to block the travel ban. She sued the president to prevent him from putting a question on the census about citizenship. These are entirely baseless, entirely political lawsuits. She's pushing her own political agenda at the expense of Minnesotans. And meanwhile, taxpayer dollars are going overseas to fund terrorists. That has to stop. You know, when I am attorney general, I will never put politics above the rule of law. I'm going to enforce the law. I'm going to stand up for the Constitution. I'm going to stand up for the people. And I'm going to prosecute and bring an end to welfare fraud in our state. Yeah. Now, winning the office of the Attorney General is really the key, the most critical thing we can do if we want to put Minnesota back on a path to liberty and prosperity. That's because the office is very powerful. There are nearly 200 attorneys that work for the Attorney General. The Democrats have held this office for 47 years, and that's 47 years too long. Amen. So for nearly half a century, they have been using this office to push their big government agenda. Well, my friends, this November, that will finally end. Amen. We are going to take back the office of the Attorney General. We are going to refocus all those attorneys on actually advancing liberty and limiting government and restoring the rule of law. And we are going to fundamentally shake up St. Paul. Yes. So just let me tell you briefly a little bit about how we're going to do that. It starts with defending our Constitution. And that is something I know how to do. For the last several years, I've been working with a group called Alliance Defending Freedom. It's a Christian nonprofit law firm. And we stand up for and represent folks who are defending their religious liberty and free speech and rights of conscience in cases across the country. So you can rest assured that when I'm Attorney General, I will be in the courtroom for you. I will be standing up for religious freedom. I will be standing up for free speech. And I will be fighting for the Second Amendment as well. I also spent a couple of years working for Bob Lighthizer, who is now the United States Trade Representative under Donald Trump. I spent those couple of years fighting unfairly dumped and subsidized imports of steel from China. So I'm going to continue the fight against unfair imports when I'm Attorney General, and I'm going to stand up for Minnesota jobs, I'm going to stand up for mining. We are going to put Minnesota first. Yes. <laughs> Democrats have also gutted are the criminal division of the Attorney General's office. So our county attorneys, our frontline prosecutors, are without support. I'm going to change that. We are going to back up our county attorneys. We're going to make sure that we put criminals behind bars. Yeah. 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 And you can count on me to stand up for life. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to end the trafficking of illegal human uh, fetal body parts in Minnesota. And that's going to be a big priority. And just one more thing. We have a problem in this state with election integrity. Yeah. So on day one, I'm going to create a unit within the office of the Attorney General to prosecute election fraud. We are going to make sure that we send the message that if you cast an illegal ballot in Minnesota, you're going to jail. Yeah. So please, 
So please, join me. Let's stand up for the Constitution. Let's stand up for the rule of law. Let's stand up for faith and for freedom and for justice. Together, we are going to win in 2018. We are going to finally put this state firmly back on the path to liberty and prosperity. Thank you. God bless. We have just one candidate before the body, and therefore I will entertain a motion to endorse by acclamation. And a second. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> well done. <laughs> we will vote by acclamation. All those in favor of endorsing Doug Wardlow for Attorney General, please rise. the judgment of the chair that Mr. Wardlow has received 60% of the support of the body. <laughs> so congratulations on your endorsement. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. What a great honor and privilege it is to be endorsed by the Republican Party of Minnesota and all of you. I just A few people I want to thank. First of all, of course, my family. My wife, Jenny, right here. And our, our, our kids, Martin and Winston and Annabelle. Also my parents, Lynn and Cheryl Wardlow. They're up here somewhere. They're over there. And, and our campaign team, uh, Diane Anderson, Gail Anderson, uh, Billy Grant, our campaign manager, Richard and Shelley Evans, Jeff Schutte, John McCullough, Will Crumholds, and so many other people, Bonnie Benniak, Barb Chervistad, of course, Cindy Pugh and, and Glenn Gruenhagen, Kathy Lomer, Steve Draskowski, thank you all so very much. It's such an honor uh, to be up here on the stage with all of you, and, and, and this is just an overwhelming level of support, and I, I'm, just, I'm just so honored and touched. We are going to go into the Attorney General's office, and we are going to really change things. If, if, if you followed me at all, if you followed me at all when I was in the State House, you know that I'm not afraid of a fight. And so we're going to beat Lori Swanson, but then the real battle is going to begin. We're going to go in there, we're going to start turning over tables, we're going to start making sure that that office is enforcing and upholding the law. We're going to take the 46 politically appointed attorneys and replace them with solid conservatives who understand the importance of the Constitution and the rule of law and all the things that make America great. So again, thank you so much. Now this is a statewide race, of course, and it's a very important one, just very nearly as important as the governor. And that, of course, takes a lot of funding to run. So if you feel it in your heart today, that you feel called to, to give a contribution, please do so today. You can make a contribution at the table, or you can talk to any one of the folks on our campaign team, and, and we, can take, you know, we can take checks. We can take cash. So. We really appreciate that kind of support. Uh, and, and we need you to join our team and get the word out across Minnesota how very important this race is. Let's spread the message that we're not going to be able to turn our state around. We're not going to be able to shrink government and stand up for liberty unless we first take the Attorney General's office back. So please. So please, join us. Help, help us do that. And we're going to have a great November. We're going to turn Minnesota red. And you know, when we start enforcing our election laws, when we actually send the message that if you cast a legal ballot, you're going to go to jail, well, things are going to change in Minnesota. We're going to actually have fair elections. We're going to see a lot more conservatives and Republicans elected. And it's going to be for decades to come. This is a red state. And we're going to make it stay that way. So again, thank you all so much. God bless you. God bless Minnesota. God bless America. Thank you. Yeah.